Welcome to lesson seven for lure training. And this is something that you should start doing when your dog is like two, maybe three months in. We should stick with the first five lessons for at least the first month. And then lesson six, another like two, two, three weeks, something like that. If your dog is a little bit slower, if you haven't been quite as disciplined on his training, that might extend to three months instead of six weeks to eight weeks sort of thing, which is okay. In the grand scheme of things, that's not that much time for your dog, especially to have really, really practical skills. What we're going to do today is we're going to introduce angles to our dog's positional movement. Now, my dog should know by now that if I put him into a position, it's their job to stay in that position no matter how I move to the best of their ability. And then I help them as much as possible. I'm not trying to trick my dog unless it's a fun game way like erratic movement to stay in the position. But when I'm doing erratic movement, I don't expect my dog to stay perfectly in that position the entire time. I expect them to get out of position and then go, oh, I need to get into position as much as possible. They have a fun movement of, I'm being ditched. And then they catch up. We want to do that. But level seven, we want to do it a little bit differently. We want him to stay in position no matter how I move, which is really hard for things like sidestepping. The way that we're going to do this and the way that we're going to teach this is I need to step directly in front of my dog and then turn 90 degrees. I step directly in front of my dog. Look, I'm kind of doing this weird duck step. And then I turn directly 90 degrees. And that's going to teach my dog to spin with me as my hand goes to the outside to where, look, he's looking away from me a little bit. Uh-uh. To where he's looking away from me a little bit. So that's going to have him turn his body very clearly. And I might need, he, he knows this one, he's really good. But as I do it, I might need to take a step forward at first. So it's a 90 degree step forward. And our dog will flip as they walk forward with us. That was a good one. And then he straightens up. Click. Okay. That was a good rep. Awesome. Once again. Side. My dog knows the verbal commands at this point. We've been working on them for a few months. I step 90 degree to the side. And then I step forward. And he turns with me. If He's a little bit forward right now. So I want to actually pull my hand back. And only feed him here. So that he figures out himself without me having to give him any sort of correction what to do, what he was doing wrong. I just won't feed him like this to where he's in front of me. I'll only feed him back here. And he'll, with the body awareness of the very first lesson of doing circles, second lesson of doing those 180s, he's developing the rear end awareness that he can do these movements. Click, release. That's what we're doing at first. Once we have that, and he can consistently do it, I'm going to turn away. Turn in. Okay. We put them together. After I get my dog to do those pivots with me, I'm going to introduce sidestepping. So I put him in position, and now I'm just going to step to the side and tuck my arm in. I bring it, I keep it out with him as I step to the side, and then I bring it in when it's time for him to move. I click every time, so we'll put him on the other side. I don't have my treat out here. See how forward he is? I have it pulled back. So he stays behind me. Now I'm going to sidestep. And as I sidestep, my arm's going to go out. And then when I want him to move in with me, it's going to tuck into my side. Okay. Now we do that for a few weeks. Don't rush it. Okay. And then... We can start doing backward pivots. 
where instead of stepping in front of him, I won't step in front of him. I'll just step away. And then this leg that's closest to him is actually going to back up. And this is how we're going to introduce backing up to our dog. Okay. And now my dog can essentially stay with me into the position that I want him in, no matter how I move. I can just do backward circles. I can back up. And don't step on your dog, so I drag the lead foot because we don't want to have a negative association with backing up. Okay, because I stepped on my dog's foot and they're nervous that I'm going to step on them. We don't want that. If we're going to introduce backing up in good positions, we want to slide that leg so I don't end up hurting my dog. Good job, baby boy. And now my dog can be with me in any positions. At front, I typically only go backwards. It's hard to get my dog to go backwards. They want to flip into heel, which is understandable, but they can. He did really good on that one. In center, a lot of dogs will have an easier time in center learning these angles. So if my dog has a hard time, I know he's so excited. He's having so much fun. So if my dog's having a hard time with the sidestepping, then I'll put them into center. And what I'll do is I'll act like my hand's a steering wheel. I have it on this side, and I circle, and you notice his hips are doing that movement. And I put my hand on this side, and I do circles, and his hips are doing those side steps. Okay, plus if I'm in like a line or something, the best position that my dog can be in is in between my legs, so nobody else steps on him. Good job. And then we can do little backward steps, and I teach this by... I do it wrong. I have my hand here, and then I pull it back, and if he takes a, takes a step back, in order to adjust that, then I reward. I don't have to do my own movement first. Then I have it, and I tuck back, and then I use that momentum to take one step back, click, reward. Walk forward, don't only walk back. Starting out, I forward. Pull it back, take some steps back, click, reward. And then I just gradually make it higher and higher until I can just walk back with my dog, walk forward with my dog, walk back with my dog. Oh, see, he messed up. That's okay. Steering wheel. Heel. Good job, baby boy. Good job, baby boy. Good job. You're so smart. You're so smart. <sighs> and this is essentially our end goal for our lure training slash active obedience. It's really cool that I can keep my dog in these positions and that he can move really dynamically, that he can stay focused on me. But the most important thing is he loves this game. He's really excited by it. And he's willing to drop anything to play this game with me, to get rewarded, to get acknowledged and told that he's a good boy with all those clicks. He feels smart. He feels talented. He feels fast. He's having fun engaging with me. So I'm confident that whatever I need to call my dog off of, he will engage with me in this game until I am removed from that situation.